Hello, my name is Yunani. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a different kind of video. I'm going to be showing you guys three ways on how I use scrap clay every day on my projects. With everything going on and the lack of clay around us, we have to be very mindful of how we use our polymer clay. Especially due to the fact that polymer clay is a plastic, we have to be very careful with our base. You can always make fun canes, marbles and even make new colors with scrap clay. But today I'm going to show you guys really simple ways to reuse them. For my first project, I'm going to be chopping, conditioning a bunch of scrap clay until it's soft. I'm going to be using a 5mm die for my extruder and extrude a snake with the scrap clay. This snake is going to be the base for some hoop earrings. I'm going to cut it into two 4 inch pieces. Next, I ran this marble slab I created earlier through the pasta machine on the thinnest setting. Then I used this marble sheet to cover the snake. I did make a mistake cutting it too short, but since it's marble, I could just cut a piece and add extras. After it was covered, I carefully rolled it. I like to use my plastic ruler to even it out. To build the shape of the hoop, you can use a cookie cutter or I made my own tin shape. If you would like more information on making hoops, I will leave my hoop tutorial down in the description box. Then I repeated the same steps to make the other earrings for the pair. Also, if you would like to learn the marbling technique, I will leave a link down in the description box for that tutorial as well. For the second project, I have the same marble slab, but it's a little bit thinner to create earrings with. So to solve this problem, I ran a piece of scrap clay on the pasta machine on the mid setting and placed the marble sheet on top to create more thickness. Now I can run this through the pasta machine on the ideal thickness for the earrings. This is a technique I use daily to increase the amount of pieces I get from each slab. This technique might stretch out and distort the slab slightly. But I was happy with my outcome and I cut my pieces for the earrings. For the final project, I am going to start by lightly making impressions on the scrap clay using my cutters. For this, I am using Pearl X Mica Powder, but a great alternative to Mica would be an old eyeshadow palette like this one. I'm using an old eyeshadow brush to carefully and lightly brush the powder onto the clay. This is one of my favorite techniques because mica powder sits very well on raw clay and gives them a gorgeous effect. I also have an Instagram reel where I transform some grey pieces into a beautiful copper color using mica powder. I will leave a link down in the description box to these mica powders that I have. They are by Perlix and I had them forever. Next, I carefully cut out the pieces. And here are all the pieces. I baked them in the oven for about an hour in 275 Fahrenheit. After the pieces were nice and cooled down, I moved on to finishing them. To have clean edges on the hoops, I used an X-Acto knife to cut the edges. I drilled holes and sanded the rest of my pieces. I recently found these felt sanding tips and they are a game changer. I love them so much, they are very useful. Then I finished these pieces using UV resin, added my hardware and this is how they turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching. These will be available on my Etsy shop so make sure you go there and take a look. See you guys in the next tutorial.